This video is demonstrating the process of merging an impression that has markers. If it's a high scatter case, lots of restorations, and it's a good idea to add markers to the impression in order to ensure an accurate merge. We could see that if we raise the density threshold on the patient scan, and we see the patient's anatomy, and if we lower the threshold, we see it including the impression. Now, usually when we import an impression, we go to File, Import, DICOMS, Impression Scan. We import the impression scan, we infer the teeth to the model, and then we match the model to the CT by matching the teeth. In a high scatter case, we want to be able to match the markers. So instead of going to Impression Scan, we're going to go to Scan Appliance. The advantage of doing it this way is that the software will display for us different windows that show the markers of the patient, the markers of the impression scan, and then the impression scan and then the patient all separately, allowing us to do the merge based on the markers. So we go ahead and we select the import of the impression scan that has markers on it. Reduce our field of view to the relevant areas. Now again, the advantage of importing the impression using the import scan appliance is that we see in the different windows the markers isolated. So the top left are the markers of the patient. The top right are the markers of the impression. The bottom left is the impression itself. And the bottom right is how we see the merge. So we could change the density threshold underneath each window so that we see the relevant content. So we could try lowering the density threshold a little bit by the patient scan some more, see if we could get some markers there. In the top right by the impression scan, we see a full set of markers. Okay, now we see a bunch of markers in the patient scan as well. I'm going to hold down the shift key and left click on the different markers, identifying them for the software to help with the merge. Okay, the order doesn't matter. You go back and forth between the patient scan and the impression scan if you like. We just want to clearly mark for the software as many points as possible. And this is ex especially helpful in a situation where impression material might be covering the markers. So here we're able to isolate them, uh, to isolate the markers, even though they might be covered by the impression material. We could check in the bottom right how the merge is by clicking the update button. And we could see how the red markers and the white markers are overlapping each other, showing that the merge is a good merge. The bottom left is our impression itself. So if we needed to lower the density threshold to make sure we have a Im complete impression without any holes in it, then we could do that using the density threshold slider in the bottom. But here it looks like we're okay. So we've used this view to align the markers from the patient scan and the impression scan, we're now gonna press the OK button to bring it into the software. So what we've done until this point of time is we've taken the impression and we've merged it and aligned it to the patient scan. Now we're gonna go ahead and invert the impression by going to the model manipulation panel. First in the surfaces, let's turn off the CT scan. We're only viewing the impression and we're going to use the bottom section and click draw limiting curve to start drawing the curve whenever we want to draw the curve we hold down the shift key use our left mouse button to drag and to outline and surround the area that we want to invert okay this is similar to the functionality when you're drawing your curve for the surgical guide it works in the same way you just go around, you go back to your starting point, 
press edit curve. Now you could fine tune the placement of the curve by grabbing any of the markers and dragging it. This looks pretty good. Okay, and then you press create inverted model. Now the impression inversion is complete. We turn off we turn off uh, the impression and we could see that this results in our model. Now if we turn on the CT scan, we could see that the model is properly placed in relation to the patient's CT.